A developing story, nine children are hurting, but they are alive this morning after a grandmother plowed into a crowd of school children at Del Mar Heights Elementary yesterday. It created a nightmare of a scene at that school. All these kids are running and it hits this kid, these kids. Um, one was run over. You can see that dented car on the sidewalk, crushed strollers, even that empty baby seat on the cement. Chilling sights here. Police say a 70 year old grandmother driving this silver Honda was picking up her own grandkids. When she backed into another car, she panicked, hit the gas and drove forward. She hit nine children between the ages of 11 months and nine years, plus one adult. One of the teachers had the peace of mind to quickly jump into the car and reverse the car because the kid was pinned. And I'm so happy to tell you that out of all this, the worst injury was a five-year-old boy having a broken femur. Three of the children hit are from one family. The elderly woman was not arrested. Police are still investigating. 604 now to a developing story now. Firefighters trying to figure out what sent a mattress store up in flames. The fire could be seen for miles in L.A. County. Part of the roof collapsed. You can see some of the smoke that's there, the thick smoke in the air. But firefighters uh, kept the flames from spreading to uh, any other businesses there so far, uh, or there have not been any reports of any injuries. Thousands of people filled the Sleep Train Amphitheater last night to see Gwen Stefani and Ariana Grande, but something else caught their eye during the show. Look at this. A fire broke out during the concert. You see that right at the top of your screen? The flames could be seen burning from the show. The Chula Vista Fire Department got it under control quickly, and the concert was not affected. Oh, good to hear. 605 to a developing story now where a motorcyclist is recovering after slamming into a brick wall in Emerald Hills. Police tried pulling over 24-year-old Theola Tucker for rolling through a stop sign and not using his turn signal. He took off, but the chase that happened afterwards only lasted about 30 seconds. Tucker sideswiped Connie Crawford, who saw him crash into the wall. And it just kept spinning, 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 and every time it spins, another piece would come off and fly off. Tucker seriously hurt his leg and was taken to the hospital. Happening now, San Diego fishermen are heading back home after their boat sunk miles offshore. 10 News reporter Bree Steffen explains how part of a spaceship helped rescue them.